So that's the Brew One IPA, <clears throat> double IPA. So, um, did a review of that I think this weekend, and uh, it's up there. It's on my uh, it's on my videos. So um, videos. So anyway, if you guys care to hear my comments, um, my review of the thing, uh, feel free to go and waste your time. But anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, there's the head on this. I mean, the the, the smell on this isn't tremendous. But there is some smell there, but it tastes really good. But, alright guys, it's Tuesday night, I'm gonna keep this quick, because tomorrow is Homer Wednesday! Wednesday! Alright, let's go ahead and, um, mm, look at just go sit down and talk about some stuff, get my fingers in the screen. How about that? Catch me outside, how about. Alright, I'm back. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, this keg. Not very heavy. So anyway, um, I've got two reviews done. Um, I'm gonna do another one when I get done with this, and um, I'm gonna try to do one um, every night, and then um, do multiples on the weekends, um, so I can get these knocked out, so they're not sitting around any longer than they have to be. So anyway, that's it. That's it for me. I'm not doing anything really. Um, one thing I did get, I got a. Um, a new handheld refractometer. It's automatic temperature correction, right? Um, so yeah, this is from um, Rhino Technology. <clears throat> you guys look at that. Got this on the Amazon. Um, yeah, it's got a cleaning lens. Um, this is the refractometer itself. Comes with a small bottle, so I can put. Um, distilled water in it to calibrate it um, one pipette and the uh, little calibration screwdriver so but anyway um, does have an instruction manual which is here um, comes in a really nice foam case um, well, it even comes with a little uh, zip and zip liner if I wanted to put it in that and carry it around so yeah it's got plenty of stuff so Comes wrapped up in a bag. Do, 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 do. So yeah, comes um, with a little silica gel packet in there for, uh, for water absorption. So yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking little unit. Um, huh? Yep, it's both bricks and uh, specific gravity so yeah should be pretty nice um, obviously I just got it today this unwrapped it so I have not done anything with it <clears throat> as far as calibration or testing or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put that up and uh, that's that's show and tell for today right it's all my toys it's all my new toys so um, yeah, besides that, um, uh, Saturday I stopped, and I got some greens, specialty greens, so this is, um, chocolate malt, um, I think some 500, then there's some, um, special B in there, so what that is, it's going to be a Shakespeare style, Shakespeare style clone, um, I haven't got my hops figured out. Last few times I've made that beer, um, I've used all Amarillo um, for the flavoring. Um, bittering, I'll just use Galena because it's cheap and I got a ton of it. So yeah, that's it. That beer's going to go down here in a few days. Um, soccer's all over with, so I've got my weeks and my weekends are free. Um, so one thing, I've got kegs to clean. I've got getting the beer line cleaned up. Um, so yeah, I'll have some time on the weekends. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, I did get a, a 50. I got some avant-garde, which all my base malt's all avant-garde uh, two-row. So I picked up another sack of that while I was out um, Saturday. So I'm all uh, stocked up on two-row, which I keep, I keep two containers, the um, 
60 was it a 50 pound dog food containers that I have uh, Mike Dean has them you've seen them all over the place uh, they're not the straight up and down ones they're the ones that um, they've got the they've got the um, lid on the front of it so anyway I usually keep I've got two of those one's always full when the other one runs out I obviously switch them out then I fill the other one well I'm filling the other one um, so yeah so I've got the got the base malt I'll be as little bit as I've been brewing over the last few years that'll last me for quite a while so all right guys got my new toy um, you've seen the future of my my brewing I'm not using Pac-Man with the um, with the Shakespeare style, um, it's a obviously a rogue recipe, right? Um, I just use USO5, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm going with that. So um, yeah, I've got my my Genghis smash sitting there. Um, I dry hopped it Sunday, so um, I really should go ahead and put the second ounce of dry hops in it and cold crash it. But that means I'll be kegging this weekend. And I mean, I really don't like to go from from pitching yeast to kegging in two weeks. It just seems too early for me. Um, but I mean, there's nothing going on with the beer. It's not like it's the specialty green bill or the specialty adjuncts or something I'm putting in secondary. Whatever. It's just a straight smash. So anyway, um, but it's still kind of bubbling every once in a while. I can hear it. So which is probably just the CO2 coming out of suspension because of the hops. But anyway, I've got another ounce to throw in that, and I'll cold crush it, then I'll uh, keg it. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm done. It's a short little update, update, update video. All right, guys, peace, cheers.